Hi Glamour, it's Jen Atkin, founder of Way Hair Care and MainAddicts.com, and I'm here to tell you about my beauty routine. So the hairstyle that makes me feel like I have all the sass is clean hair. So when it's dirty, I use Way Super Dry Shampoo and fake it till I make it. Best beauty hack that I've picked up not from a celebrity, but from celebrity makeup artists, would be Mary Phillips, who told me that past a certain age, I needed to retire my glittery eyeshadow. I take my makeup from zero to extra by, I think, adding a little bit of a liner and maybe a bright colored lip. My most used hair hack of all time would be day three when you don't wanna wash and your hair is super dirty and you just throw it in a bun. My biggest piece of advice to kick ass as your true self is to learn the importance of unplugging. Don't just be on your phone all day, every day. And then I would say you're never too old to start something new and take a new path. My biggest beauty fails would have to be over plucking my brows in high school and then cutting bangs when I was hormonal. All right, I usually don't answer this question, but my favorite ever celeb hair look would have to be this braided like crown halo braid I did on Khloe Kardashian back in like 2012. She won't let me live it down. She hated it from the second I did it. She, once a year she sends me a picture of her in this miserable braid and it's my favorite thing because it just makes me laugh. Let's get into this. I'm gonna show you my kick-ass beauty routine. Let's start with my Let's Elfing Do It palette. Comes in two shades. That was light medium, and then this is the medium deep. I'm gonna start off with my eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the lightest color here and just go over the top of my lid, and that's gonna kind of be like my base. This is really nice doing this. Not in my car, which is where I normally do my makeup. I'm gonna mix this bronzer here with the eyeshadow color, and just kind of go into the crease and start on the outer edge. Next step, I'm gonna take the medium shade eyeshadow, and I'm gonna now kind of go in that outer crease and really kind of go all the way in and just kind of go into the crease here to create a little bit of a dimension. And then I'm gonna take that first brush and that light color and kind of mix a little bit of that bronzer with the light color and just lightly go over the top section here just to kind of really blend that shadow that I just used. And then I'm gonna take the darkest eyeshadow shade and this is actually a trick that I learned from my makeup artist friend Mary Phillips. And instead of using Liner during the day, I actually like to use shadow as my liner. It just kind of gives a nice softer look. So now I'm gonna take that bronzer color and I'm just gonna lightly go on the very bottom of my eye right here to kind of blend it all together. So next step, I'm gonna take that sheer matte blush color and I am going to just add a little bit here in the cheeks. I actually like to take my finger and just put a tiny bit of that blush on the top section of the shadow that we just did. Again, to kind of like bring everything together really nicely. Something I learned along the way in all my years of working with celeb makeup artists is to take a little bit of highlighter and you actually wanna go in like a C shape along your eyebrows. And then I am gonna take my finger again and I'm just gonna use a little bit of the highlighter here at the bottom of my brow bone. Guys, I made my dream product. It's a clear brow pomade that you can use to tame your brow hairs or tame your baby hairs and flyaways. It's long lasting and it dries clear. And yes, you can use it on your mustache as well. I don't have one anymore. All right, next up, we've got my perfect two-in-one lipstick and lip liner duo. There's ready to go, bring it on brown, and my personal favorite, self-made pink. And it has lip liner on one side, and then lipstick on the other. And it's a two-in-one because you know I'm all about convenience, so you can just throw it in your purse and reapply it all day. Last but not least, we have Face Mist. It has an irresistible coconut scent. Mm. Just like I'm in Tulum. Okay, there you have it. This is my kick-ass makeup routine in no time. All right guys, so here are some of my favorite must-have products that I cannot live without. First up is Ollie's Sleep Gummies. They honestly put you to sleep without making you feel like you're hungover the next day. Next up is, duh, my Dyson Corral. 
because I don't have to have a cord. I can do hair on set, out in the wilderness. I actually did hair for my next favorite thing, Kim and Kendall KKW Fragrance Collab. This is the Amber Scent, and I literally like bathe in it. This is my second bottle I've already gone through. Olive is also a really good scent. Bad habit. Emma Chamberlain can do no wrong. I'm obsessed with her coffee, and I just love trying any oils, and I think it's a really, really good one. Doesn't make you like feel too greasy. And next up is Cloud Dew by Summer Fridays. I love everything that Summer Fridays does. I think everything that they do is just, it can do no wrong. And this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite moisturizing products. I'm a little partial, but whey curl cream. First of all, we worked so hard on this packaging. It's a matte package. It just looks so luxe. And the curl cream was tested by over a thousand people in our community. And I really think it turned out so great. And I love it, love it, love it. Next up is the Glossier makeup bag. I'm obsessed. Look at all the different compartments that it has. I don't even know if it's just for makeup, but I use it for hair stuff. I love, love, love this bag. And then last but not least, Main Addicts. We have these amazing bobby pin holders that I wish existed like 15 years ago. It's easy to adjust. You can put whatever you need in there. It's like a fishing toolbox. Thanks Glamour for visiting me here at The Way HQ and for going through all of my beauty rituals and my elf collection available now. I hope you guys love it. I'll see you next time.